Hello YouTube friends, what we're going to do today is have a go at fitting a shower trap to this newly installed shower tray. We've got a McAlpine uh, version, the, probably the best quality you can get. Uh, why take a chance when this is a vital thing and you don't want any problems. So we're dry fitting it first just to get an idea of where everything's going to go. I'm going to mark the floor just to give me a rough direction but it's traveling in that direction so we can remove this part here and that has its own rubber uh, washer which has to go the right way around by the way and what I'm gonna do is undo this elbow part we don't need that at the moment although it will give us a guide to where we want to be especially if I can get that out of there which I can't so what we have here these you these uh, rubber seals they come in two size two thicknesses basically and if the material your shower tray is made out of is uh, more than 10 or less than 10 millimeters thick, you, you use one or the other of the two rubber seals, which you'll find in the box. We're using the thin one today. Now, the thing to do is to make sure you don't fit the fit your trap and leave the um, thin film, protective film on your tray because that's not going to work. So remove, remove the protective film from around that trap. That's the first thing to do. This, this um, seal, this rubber seal is actually, it's what we call sided. So it's flat on one side and slightly beveled on the other. So make sure you get that right. Now this has got a little bit dusty, so I'm anxious to make sure everything is as clean as a whistle before we start sticking it together. Right, now some people like to put silicon on the back of this. Some people believe that's a bad thing to do. In the olden days, we would put plumber's mate around here and with varying degrees of success but these modern days we have a thing called plumber's gold and it's not strictly silicon it's meant to be a thing that can uh, work happily with rubber so however i'm only going to put the thinnest the thinnest amount on there And just making sure that the flat side of the rubber seal goes up the ways. And we just quickly pop a bit of this around the actual hole in the tray. Not too much, just enough. Right, that's completely all the way around there. Then we can let that squish down in. Now personally, I wouldn't um, put any silicon or any plumber's gold on this bit. I don't know, I, I feel that that rubber there with its 
of your ribs on should be more than enough to create a watertight gap, watertight seal I should say. So we're going to tighten that down while the plumber's gold's nice and gooey. Making sure the outlet's pointing in roughly in the right direction. And you feel all that tightening up nicely. So what I'm going to just quickly do now is reconnect these parts, although they're only dry fit. I'm just going to connect those back up to um, just make sure we've got everything in, pointing in the right direction. So that when we actually solvent all this together, we're happy about it. And that's all got to fall on it. Everything is nice and comfortable, fitted together nicely. So just tighten that up a bit more. So that's going to be our finished position there. So now we just tighten this up. I mean, the point is, this is low pressure. There's no pressure on this water. So once you've made a seal, you shouldn't have to go massively nuts. It should only be hand tight. Now, I would think that should be absolutely tight enough. So that is your McAlpine um, shallow trap for a shower tray. When we're just going to have a little clean up here to make sure get rid of any excess plumber's gold. And uh, that should be a lovely watertight job finished. Thanks for watching everybody. Catch you soon. Mm -hmm.